Hello, my name is Kelvin Nogueira and I am a Baltic crew member. And today we're going to talk about Abel Rodriguez's show. In the outside of the show, it's the representation of the Amazon forest and of the area where he lived, where the Muinani community lives. These are representations of the rivers. Abel Rodriguez is a name that the artist took in the 1990s. His real name is Mogaji Giyu. This is a name that was given to him by his community, uh, Muinani. It's the Hawk tribe in the community of the Colombian Amazon forest. He is also known as the namer of plants because he studied plants with his uncle, a sabedor, a man of knowledge. And from that on, he had this vast knowledge about Amazon forest. He also had to study so much be because this is taken by word, is not written. And so he had many nights and many days that he had not to sleep because he had to be awake and lend his ears to the elders, the elders so he, they could tell him what is going on in the Amazon forest. So in here we can see that it is the representation of the Amazon forest from what he remembered when he stood in the mountains watching over the Amazon forest with his uncle. In this work, Abel represents the time of flooding in the Amazon forest. He shows as the flood comes and as the flood goes. He shows in here when the flood is not happening, how the animals are in the bottom of the, of the Amazon forest and how they get the, the fruits. And in here he also shows the monkeys. And as the flood goes away, in here he shows the animals and the fishes just returning to the river because the flood is so strong that the, the fishes cannot continue up the river. And as the flood goes, he, he starts showing that the fishes start coming back to the river. So in here, uh, Abel shows his vast knowledge of trees. He, he knows so much that he had to put everything into words. In here, he writes in the Munani language and in the Spanish language. Uh, all of this are just a few representations of what the knowledge that he has from the trees of the Amazon forest. In this part of Abel Rodriguez's work, he shows the spiritual side of the Amazon forest. Because the indigenous are so connected to the Amazon forest and they spend so much time indulging in shamanism and being so much in, in tuned with the forest that they feel that this for, the forest has its own spirit. So in here, he shows all the animals in a community living in a tree of life. The tree of life giving just not shelter to the animals, but also the fruits and the elements that they the, the need. In here, he shows the meeting point between tribes, where they have the stone of the moon and the stone of the sun, is where the tribes us usually commute together. This one is a representation of the tree of life. As you see, it's a really big tree, and it gives the fruits to everyone. It's the dots, the, the colors, is the fruits coming from the tree of life. And all the animals below, just eating from it, participating in the uh, evolution of the tree and participating in just their, their, their life because the tree of life gives everything to the Amazon forest and everything to the people that live in the Amazon forest. In this film he talks about his life and how he was growing up and how he had, he seen that there was no need to have all the knowledge in the world but at least the knowledge that he has he could help the community. Uh, Abel doesn't see his work of art as art but he sees as a work of knowledge. He says that this is just a, a way of putting out the, the world that he had in his mind, the knowledge that he had, helping out not just the Munani community, but the Western community understand the forest better.